Downtown Boise comes with a lot of surprises these days. Multiple construction projects and road closures are really making it hard to navigate. The projects have limited available parking spaces in downtown yeah. Boise, and business owners tell us that those on Main Street say they're noticing an impact on their bottom lines. Our Andrew Bartline live from Main Street now. Andrew, show us that intersection because really it is a great example of what these business owners are talking about here. Yeah, we're at the corner of Main and 11th, and if you just kind of look behind me, you can see what looks to be some pretty heavy equipment digging out parts of kind of the sidewalk corner of the road right in front of some storefronts. There's not a lot of parking, like you said. It's a difficult area to get to with all these closures. So the businesses notice it, the customers notice it, the city knows it, and they're hoping they can get a better solution. Building takes time. What's up, dog? Whether it be a business oh, yeah. or rapport with customers. Oh, what can I get you? But after five years on the corner of 10th and Main. As long as there is a walkable path to our front door. Necker Coffee owner Grant Shealy is more concerned about what's building outside his windows. Cheers, bro. Closed roads, covered parking, and cutting bottom lines. Between 5 and 10%. It's an experience downtown workers and residents see every day. Oh yeah. Including I've seen it. Robin Donovan. Yeah, I didn't want to park over here, so I parked over on the other side of town and then walked over, but I had the time. Not everyone has time to do that. And not everyone has the ability to make the walk either. We see 12 to 24 patients a day with foot and ankle issues. Kevin Chapman owns Foot Dynamics on Main. It directly borders the 11th Street rebuild. When there's like big equipment going, the building's shaking. And he says rebuilding the road is tearing down his profits. And this is our first year to date through April now, about the first quarter, that we're posting a year to date loss versus last year. This is actually worse than COVID. But they all know in a growing city, the building is inevitable. I've lived in a lot of different cities and I've never seen a city do it all at the same time. But they add it's now time for solutions because at Necker, the building going on outside is harming what he's trying to build on the inside. How to responsibly uh, develop um, the city over the, the course of the next 5, 10, 15 years. I think that is the question. So those solutions that the city has kind of worked through is limiting some parking meters from four hours down to two hours, increasing some parking enforcement. That idea is to keep people moving, keep those parking spots available and open for others. But it seems that that's really not a solution that's working a lot for these business owners. So that conversation is still open and they're hoping that they can find something better going forward. But right now there are problems. Yeah, construction such a necessary evil in a growing city, and we've seen this in so many cities as they continue yep. to grow. You just hope that this isn't long-term. And upgrading the infrastructure that was back in the 50s. Oh, yeah. Too. Andrew, thank you very much.